Hello, my name is Faye Goodman and may I start by thanking Road Safety GB for kindly inviting me to talk to you about the conies. My passion for raising awareness for road safety, especially for children, arose around 2014 when much of the funding for road safety promotion and advertising had unfortunately stopped. I wanted to do something positive to keep road safety, especially for children, at the forefront of everyone's mind. I had struggled to find the right animation characters. It was midsummer and I happened to be talking to a friend and she started to say about her daughter having failed her driving test. She failed because she could not remember the meaning of the road signs. Brilliant, I replied. My friend was aghast. What was I saying? Brilliant, her daughter had failed her road test. No, and then I explained she had inspired one of those aha moments. I need to turn road signs into animated characters. This way I can help children learn all about road safety through the symbols and signs in the highway code. And, more importantly, all around us. Hooray, I thought. Plus, by the time the children are old enough to drive and take a test, I hope they would be well versed in the importance of safe, considerate and courteous driving and know what all the road signs mean. So, creating the conies was quite a challenge and I thought, how do I turn ordinary road cones into a lovable family of animated characters with a guru cow expressing words of wisdom? Not to be deterred, my passion for engaging with children in a positive and fun way drove, and excuse the pun, my mission and my vision. So working through and developing the first animation was often quite hilarious. We had some very funny shaped characters, which eventually took a life of their own. So just to tell you a little bit about my history and, and why I actually eventually did become involved in road safety. I have my own road safety awareness story and it actually started when I was just three. I lived in a lovely country bungalow near Hereford. There was a winding country lane in front of our bungalow and we rarely saw any cars. My parents tried to teach me about road safety, saying I must wait until a car has gone past before I cross the road. Hmm, I thought. So, one sunny day, I waited for must have been maybe nearly an hour when suddenly a car was arriving. I was so excited I mistimed everything and ran in front of the car. I fell underneath and luckily all I suffered was a big bruise to my forehead. My parents were horrified. Their well-meaning road safety teachings had not quite worked as hoped. So that incident must have stayed with me for many years. I then got introduced at the age of six to music and music and martial arts, which I was introduced to later, certainly became my main focus in life. And through my martial arts, I teach various aspects such as self-defense, boundary management, safety strategies, all attributes that translate seamlessly into road safety awareness. I felt I could use this and help children protect themselves and each other by developing a code such as be aware, be prepared and be responsible along with all the attributes that you can follow from martial arts and translate them into our daily lives. So combining that with my other passion of, of music, um, it opened my eyes to how powerful sound can be for children and it can be very calming for them, it can help engage them and in some cases can be quite healing. So bringing these two passions together to share with children has been my life's work and my vision. It does not exclude adults because through children we can reach adults and all groups and there is a, a copy of the Drive Safe and Stay Safe handy book for adults on the Coney's free resources platform. So please feel free to download. 
So the Coney's characters have evolved over the past five years and here was my first prototype. Daddy Cone is taking Eric to Beep Beep School. Come on Eric, time to go to school. Okay Daddy. They look around to make sure everything is safe as they get into the car from the pavement side. Let's put your seatbelt on and keep you safe. Eric never runs into the road. Yes, quite amusing. Now, here is what they look like today. So, this is the latest journal, which is dyslexia friendly. And you can see the family of cones. Um, this is um, Daddy Honk. This is Mummy Kimi. This is their daughter, Mimi, their son, Tuto. And right in front, we have Babu, baby Babu. On the back is the Guru Cow. So, the Konies give lots of tips on how children can keep themselves safe and healthy. They also learn how to wash their hands and face, clean their teeth and eat healthy food too. And it's interesting how this now has become so very important during this current pandemic. And actually, here is Tuto with his mask. Yes, even our Konies have to comply with government regulations. So here is a copy of the teacher's journal or for the adults or any guardians of children that help them with the children's journal. It helps children to engage by reading, listening and acting out scenarios where, which can be reviewed at the end of the test to see how much a child has learned and absorbed. We share stories, games and fun competitions that promote and teach how a child can keep safe with our conies. There is also a lovely interactive game on the Coney's platform for children to play and they achieve a certificate. We always like to give away um, lots of um, road safety items such as the um, snap band, we have key rings, um, there's a little torch, self-winding torch, um, we have a little badge, more for the adults to be honest, a, a Coney's pencil. And these resources, I have to thank Pertem's network, have been amazing, along with the West Midlands Police and Crime Commissioner, Birmingham Community Safety Partnership, and more recently, Rhys Jeffries, who have supported the free resources and the platform. So our work continues because too many children are needlessly injured or killed on our roads. We want to make an impact in a dynamic way. And what better way than to turn road signs, which are all around us, into the animated characters. We believe the Coneys can make a meaningful contribution towards reducing current killed or seriously injured figures. For nearly 25 years, child casualty figures reduced on a year-by-year -year basis until a decade ago when increases have now been recorded. Between 2018 and 19, particularly, we have seen a shocking 28% incre increase, my apologies, in child road deaths. We must all work harder to once again reduce these statistics. It is also interesting to note that the number one cause of child accident deaths globally are road accidents. And this is according to the World Health Organization. We hope that by teaching the next generation about road safety, we will help shape them to be a generation of careful and considerate drivers. We carried out two pilot schemes over 100 schools in the West Midlands. These pilots gave us meaningful feedback to the point where we redesigned our second journal to be, as I mentioned earlier, dyslexia friendly. So why is this important? Children with dyslexia are not always identified with the difficulty until they're about 11 years of age by which time they could have missed out on so much in terms of reading and writing. The dyslexia charity Extraordinary People estimate 2 million children suffer such difficulties which needlessly cost the UK about 2 billion a year. We are proud to make a contribution to offering much needed dyslexia friendly materials. So to date the Coneys and their comic adventures have inspired over 30,000 children attending primary schools. 
We have achieved this by the excellent support from a range of key representatives, including Andy Street, Mayor of the West Midlands, Jess Phillips MP and Councillor Neil Eustace, and many others. These three parties came together to support our work and I'm so grateful. To summarise, every child is different and their ways of learning also differs, so we will be continuing to develop new journals, books, games, films, animation that can be accessed in future once published. With this in mind, please feel free to get in touch with us if you want to help support our work or if we can support you. We are very happy to help and work with any school, organisation or individual who need to promote road safety and personal safety. I would like to show you one of our films working with schools on a road safety song and using some of the original animated characters. You know I'm all about the stop, about the stop, look, listen. I'm all about the stop, about the stop, look, listen. I'm all about the stop, about the stop, look, listen. I'm all about the stop, about the stop. Yeah, it's pretty clear. We like to walk to school. You can't come on your scooter or your bike at school. So we got the stay safe, the A stars like always. Let us all remember that all children's safety and well-being is important, as every child matters. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>